Hello everyone, welcome to Sarah's Stitchery. I'm Sarah and this is my channel where I talk all about my cross stitch. Today's date is April 20th and this is floss tube episode number 10. Welcome back or welcome if you're new here. If you are new here, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope you enjoy my content and I, um, I hope you would consider subscribing to my channel and liking my video. That would mean a lot to me. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for your continued support and encouragement. It means the world to me. I appreciate you. Um, I also wanted to thank you guys because um, my last video uh, was, I filmed that on Easter Sunday. And at the end of that video, I plugged in a little segment that I did with my oldest daughter, Kendall, and with my son's girlfriend, who is also named Kendall. And um, I just contacted the girls that day. They were coming over for Easter and I was like, hey, bring your stitching over and um, let's film a little little video for Floss Tube. And they were, they were totally up for it. So I appreciate them for uh, being open to sitting with me for a little video and for sharing their stitching with everyone. Um, I think it was so cool that they were willing to do that. I, I love personally seeing people in the younger generation stitching. Um, and I know a lot of you said you appreciated that as well. So thank you, I appreciate that. And um, the Kendalls loved reading all of the comments. <laughs> I do have another daughter named Maggie. She lives in Brooklyn, New York. She'll be coming home in June for a little bit. And she's also a stitcher. So I'd love to have her on for a little bit of a video too. So stay tuned for that. Okay, let's talk about what I've been up to lately. Um, you may notice from my raspy voice, I've, I've been sick this week, so sorry for the, for the dusky voice, um, but we'll get through it. <laughs> um, let's see, what have I been up to? So I went to a retreat recently. I went to the Steel City Stitchers retreat in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, this was my third time attending that event and I really enjoy it. It's just a really like laid back, um, type of event. And I really enjoyed uh, getting to hang out with my stitchy friends and getting to talk to stitchy friends that I don't get to talk to very often and getting to make new stitchy friends. So um, that was just really good for my soul um, just to go and do that and just, you know, not feel guilty about spending a whole weekend focusing on stitching and the stitchy community. I had a great time. And um and I look forward to going again next year. So um, I do have a few things from the retreat to show you, but I'll save that for the end when I do haul. Um, other than that, not a whole lot going on. Um, if you're new here, I'm a teacher. I teach fourth grade in Southwest Ohio. So we're just kind of like, uh, you know, right, right deep into testing season right now. So it's been a little stressful at school, um, you know, but we're getting there. It's just, you know, part, part of uh, being a teacher. And so, you know, things will, things will start to slow down here soon, especially as we're approaching the end of the school year. So yeah, um, other than that, let's see, my oldest daughter, Kendall, the one who was in my video, she just celebrated a birthday this week. She's the big 26. Crazy, because I'm only 29. Weird. <laughs> right um no but we're uh we're gonna go celebrate her tomorrow we're gonna go to lunch with her um she lives about 45 minutes away from us so we're gonna we're gonna go downtown and hang out with her for her birthday so other than that I haven't been up to very much so we'll just uh skip the rest of the small talk and we'll just get right into the stitching what do you say um let's see I have one finish and fully finish to show you so let's just dive right into that so the last time you saw this project, it was a whip, a work in progress. And since I've seen you last, I finished stitching it and I fully finished it literally about an hour ago. <laughs> so without further ado, here it is. Check that out. I'll hold it back here. So this is the hands-on design spring fault chart um, design. And I stitched this using the called for 32 count um, driftwood linen by Fabrics by Stephanie. And I used all of the called for DMC. So I'll just kind of go in, kind of 
close here and show you some of the details. This chart does have some specialty stitches that I think just add so much dimension to this piece. And I love that the specialty stitches are done in this pearl cotton that is like the same shade as the fabric that it's on. So it's just like, you just see those pops of texture, you know? I also love that there's like a lot of backstitch details in this piece. It gives so much uh, dimension and layering to this piece. And just like you can sit here and just see new details every time you every time you glance at it. Here's some more specialty stitches. Now, if you're thinking of starting this, um, don't be afraid to, you know, whether you're going to stitch it on Ada or Linen because her chart, Kathy's chart, has um, diagrams to show you how to stitch the specialty stitches on Linen and on Ada. So it is fabric friendly, no matter what fabric you're choosing. Again, there's some more um, back stitch details. I'll keep moving this up. This band right here is uh, reminiscent of this kind of quilted laser cut pattern on this paddle. And I'll tell you about this paddle here in a little bit. We've got some um, straight stitch details here. Very pretty. And then that adorable little bunny at the bottom. So there it is. I just finished it with some, um, with a layer of fabric covered board and some grace green Rick Rack from Lady Dot Creates. Um, I already have this twine and these um, wool felt leaves on here from when I used this board for the autumn folk. I don't know that I have that one available. It's around here somewhere. Um, because this design, this one is spring folk. This is a seasonal design. So um, hands-on design will have uh, band samplers for summer, fall, and winter. I did get to stitch the um, autumn version early because it was the retreat piece for the Chantel's 141 pep rally retreat that I went to in September, but it'll be released to the public this fall, so everybody will get a chance to stitch it. But this piece is very versatile. Um, it's just attached with magnets, so I can pull this off. Um, I don't want to pull it off right now because the glue on the magnets might still be setting. I'm using that E6000 glue. It does take a while to um, dry, so I don't want to mess with it too much until I know for sure it is completely dry. But that is my spring folk. I have been hosting a stitch along, and if you're still stitching that, that's awesome. There was no time limit. Um, it was just a, kind of a laid back stitch along. You, you could join in whenever you were ready and finish at your own pace. And so um, I know several people have finished this piece and already fully finished it for display. And some people are still working. I know my friend Allison, Alley Cat 13, she just started hers recently. So, you know, it was just a really fun way to stitch this along with other people, um, you know, and just allow everybody to stitch at their own pace. And I really enjoyed it. So um, thank you to Hands On Design for designing such a beautiful band sampler. I cannot wait to stitch the other seasons. Um, I still need to sit, stitch summer and winter. Um, and um, Chantel, thank you for creating this beautiful wooden paddle for this design to be displayed on. So this is actually called a folk paddle. You can get this on Chantel's 141 Design Company website. I can link that below. And it comes unfinished. This is um, a laser cut piece of um, wood and it comes unfinished and that way you can choose to stain it or paint it however you choose. So um, there's that, there's my finish. I love it, I love it. I cannot wait to display it in my house now that it's fully finished. Okay, wonderful. So let's get right into the whips then. If you're new to um, floss tube, WIP stands for works in progress. So I've got a few here. So let me move my water out of the way and let's dive right in. So the first thing I have to show, it's been a while since I've shown this one. Probably the last time it was shown was during my WIP parade. Um, so I decided to pull this out uh, because as I've mentioned in previous videos, 
I'm doing something that I'm calling 24 in 2024. No, 24 finishes in 2024 um, because I have a large whip count and I would like to get my whip count down a little bit. And I would really like to focus on getting some things done um, that were whips prior to 2024. So um, I've set a goal for myself that every quarter I need to finish um, six whips um, of mine. And so I, I decided to pull this one out. This is called Scissor Sampler by Talon Emblem. Um, I'm not Quite sure when I started this. This has been a whip for a little while. When this chart was from 2022, that's probably when I started it. I probably started it shortly after it came out. Um, but here is my progress. I am. Let me put a board behind this. There we go. That's a little bit better. I am stitching this on 36 count Rocky Mountain fabric by Extra Design. And I just think it's perfect. I love the, the gray modeling on this fabric. And I think those colors are really popping on it. Um, it is charted, I believe it's charted in all DMC. Uh, well, it's charted in DMC in some weeks. Dye works, let me look here. Yeah, I believe I'm using just the DMC, and that's my progress so far. So my goal is to get this finished by the end of this month, um, and I don't think that's an unrealistic goal. I do still have um, a lot of stitching to do, but this piece is pretty small. If you look at it, I mean, it's not very large. The stitch count is... Um, 102 by 131. So it's a nice medium size piece. Um, I am using two strands on this 36 count. I wanted my I wanted my coverage to be very bold because those colors are very bold, and so I wanted it to um, I wanted the colors to be more saturated. So I'm using two strands over two. So there's the scissor sampler. Super pretty. Okay, I am also stitching. Now this was a market release, I love this one. This is from Teresa Kogut, it is called Wherever There Are Birds. I just love that big black bird, he's so cute. So here I am. I am stitching this on the called for fabric. It's a 40 count uh, grandpa's sleeve by X2 Design. X2 Design and Fox and Rabbit are my favorite fabric dyers. Um, in case you in case you wanted to know. <laughs> I just love this grandpa's sleeve. Um, I am using all the called for. Looks like there's some classic color work, some weeks dye works, and some DMC. So I'm pretty sure I'm just stitching this as called for. So there's that, wherever there are birds, there is hope. I don't know why, I feel like my light is a little dim today. Um, I've got a window over here, but I've got a ring light over there, but I feel like I'm a little bit in shadow today. I'm not sure why. Give me one moment here. I'm trying to keep myself organized that way. I don't have a big mess to clean up when I'm done. Sit that down there. Okay, next I have the Botanical Study number one. This was also a market release. This is from Petal Pusher. And this is a stitch along right now that my friend Sarah from Handmade by Sarah W is hosting with her friend Ashley from Paper Crane Yarns. Ashley is a new stitcher. She actually has a, um, a yarn shop in Sarah's town and Ashley just recently discovered cross stitch and she went to market and she is all in and she brought this design back and she and Sarah just fell in love with it. And they were like, let's host a stitch along. So of course I had to join in cause this is beautiful. I'm stitching mine on 36 count dusk by picture this plus. 
and I'm using all of the called for, I believe it's, yeah, Weeks Dye Works. So there's my stitching. Just a small start. Um, I was waiting for my pattern to come in. So my pattern came in this week and I got a little start um, and I'm gonna try to work on it some more this coming week. It's very pretty. I just love those colors on that dark fabric. Here's the, um, here's the floss. Aren't those pretty? This Kentucky bluegrass right here is stunning. Oh, and I got to show you the Project Keeper. I'm keeping that one in. Look at this. Um, so this is kind of a little bit of haul right here. When I was at the Steel City Stitchers Retreat, these um, were being sold, um, and I just had to have it. Look at that. Look at these Yetis, Bigfoot Yeti, um, and these little jackalopes. So stinking cute. So I'll show you the inside. I do have another project kitted up in here, but this is so pretty. Um, let me show you the logo here. So this is from a woman named Thomasina. She has, right now she's on Instagram as Paws 2 Stitch, P-A-W-S. Um, but she says she's gonna be opening up a an Etsy shop and selling her project folders. And these are just so high quality. Um, so I actually, when I was there, I got one for myself and I got one for Handmade by Sarah W. And we're like, um, wouldn't this be perfect for this? Look at those colors. So it has to live in here. Um, I also have another project in here kitted up, which I haven't started, but I'll show it to you because it's gorgeous. Hands-on design, Botanical Bee. So hopefully soon... Once I get some things done, maybe I can start on that. But it's living in here, too, because that's another one that Sarah and I would like to stitch together, that little botanical bee. So there's that. Let me put my floss back in here so I don't lose it. Got to keep myself organized. One more time. It's so cute. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I've got two more whips to show you. So this next one, um, I showed you uh, the pattern when I saw you last um, because I was going to be starting this one. I started this one on Easter Sunday. So this is, nope, I started on April 1st. Sorry. This is called Tom's Foolery. And, um, oh, hold on. Pause, pause. I forgot to tell you, I forgot to tell you um, that Ashley and Sarah have a hashtag for their stitch along that they're doing. Um, it is called Botanical Study Sal, S-A-L, um, which is very easy to remember. Sorry, I forgot to tell you that before. And her sti their stitch along is um, very much like the one that I hosted for the hands-on design spring folk, which um, which just means it's a very laid back, jump in when you can, stitch at your own pace. Um, the only thing is like when you're doing a when you're doing a stitch along with Sarah and I, we would just ask that you um, if you want to post progress on Instagram that you use our hashtag and that you tag us. So if you're going to be stitching the botanical study with Ashley and Sarah, make sure that you're tagging Handmade by Sarah W and Paper Crane Yarns, which is Ashley. And um, and if you're stitching the hands-on design spring folk with me, even though I'm done, you can still stitch it with me, um, tag me. My Instagram is actually um, Stitchy Sarah Reads. It's different than my floss tube name. I will link it below. And um, and also make sure that you're tagging Kathy from Hands On Design and Chantel from Chantel's 141 since it's finished on her board. Um, so tag us and use the hashtag HOD Spring Folk Sow. And I will be putting all of that stuff in the description box so don't feel like you have to try to remember it. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Totally off track. <laughs> I just happened to remember like, ooh, I forgot to tell the hashtags. Sorry, I feel like since like I, I've been sick and 
just been so busy at school. My brain is like just not quite functioning at top level here. Anyway, back to Tom's Foolery. <laughs> so um, speaking of Handmade by Sarah W., um, she and I started Tom's Foolery on April 1st, and um, we're not hosting, we're not like technically hosting a stitch along, but a lot of people wanted to stitch this, and so we did make up a hashtag, um, hashtag foolery on fools since we started on April Fool's Day, um, and so some people have been stitching that with us. Some people had it as a whip already, and they're like, I'm going to pull that out and stitch it with you. And some people were like, yes, I've been wanting to stitch this. Let me kit it up and stitch it with you. Um, and again, we would love for you to use our hashtag and tag us. Because even though we're not technically doing a sale, we still like to see your progress. And um, and if you don't mind, we like to repost people's um, progress on our Instagram stories. Um, just to kind of, you know, encourage everyone and, and keep up the excitement. You know what I mean? Um Another thing I forgot to tell you is, uh, you know, I mentioned Handmade by Sarah W. a lot because she and I stitch a lot of the same things and we stitch a lot of things together because it's just fun. Um, so we do have another hashtag. I know, hashtag craziness. We also have the hashtag stitching with the Sarahs. So if you're stitching anything with us, you could just use our hashtag because we just love to see when people are stitching stuff with us. Um, Again, like this is this is not a stitch along we're hosting. It's just for fun, just for fun. Anyway, uh, how about I show you my progress? <laughs> Here's what I've got. I did the border. Nothing too exciting going on here. But if you haven't stitched this and you want to stitch it, allow me to let you learn from my mistake. I have a tendency to assume to assume that things are symmetrical. And instead of checking to make sure that's true, I just go with it. So um, let me get my board, hold up. So I made the mistake of assuming that this border was like squared all the way around. Like check out this, let me move over here. This side and down here is squared. I'm like, okay, like I'll just keep, I'll keep doing what I'm doing, right? wrong. You can see the border over here does not look, look like the border over there. I stitched it to look like that. And then I realized I was wrong. And I was like, well, maybe I could just leave it. But the, the motifs and stuff over here, like literally come right up against that border. And it was going to mess everything up. And I was like, no, go back and fix it. So I did. Um, and so it took me way longer to do this border than it should have. But it's done now. So Sarah and I would like to focus on um, filling in these diamonds in the border next. Um, you can see that the, the diamonds are filled in with color. So that's kind of where we're going with this next. Um, if you're interested in knowing what fabric I'm stitching on, let me look in here. It's in my bag. Uh, oh, I'm stitching this on 40 count needle bling fabric in the color lightning. And I think it just looks really cute with the, um, the colors. There's lots of really vibrant, pretty colors in here. So there's that. My Tom's Foolery. And finally, again, let me move this out of the way so I don't lose it. Finally, the last thing I've worked on is this beast. And I don't think, I don't think you've seen any progress. Maybe you saw a little tiny bit of progress. I had started this on Easter Sunday. So if you did see any progress, it was very, very minimal. Sorry, I hear my husband doing something downstairs. Um... Anyway, this is Serenity by Teresa Kogut. This was one of her market releases. And this chart is huge, but beautiful. And so this happens to be another stitch that I'm doing with Handmade by Sarah W. And um, we are using the hashtag Serenity with the Sarahs. 
Again, not hosting a sow, but if you want to stitch it and show us your progress, you can use that hashtag and you can tag us. So, because we just like to, we like to share the fun with everybody and see everybody else's progress. So, oh, before I show you my, my progress, let me show you this bag. So this bag was made for me by Sarah W. We have matching bags to match our projects. Look at these cross stitch. I mean, it's just fabric. It's a fabric print, but look at these um, cross stitched flowers. Isn't that beautiful? And I love the inside fabric too. Gorgeous. She made these for us so we could have matching project, project bags. And I got to show you, it goes perfectly with the colors of the floss. Let me show you my floss. I got this floss dial from a, an Etsy shop called Sun Art Crafts. I think I said I would, um, I think I said I would link it in my last video and then I forgot. So I'll link it today. Um, I love that it has this little metal magnet piece in here so you can stick your needle to it. And it's just a great way to keep a large amount of floss organized. And it's cute. So there's my floss. And now for my progress. I decided, Sarah and I decided to start right in the middle with that big giant house. So there it is. I am just at the fill-in stage right now. So got about, about half of it filled in. So I just, I would like to finish filling this in if I could tonight. It'll be really fun after we get this house done to move on to some colors. You've got these beautiful white flowers nearby and these elegant deer. I love the little bunnies that are burrowing under the house. There are so many fun, colorful details in here, so I can't wait to get to some of those. I wanted to share the stitch count with you. I told you this thing was huge. It is 338 by 340. So this is not gonna be done anytime soon, but we're just gonna work on it and uh, try to maintain some progress going on that because it's so pretty. Okay, so that was it for the stitching. That's what I've been working on. Um, let's talk a little bit about haul and um, let's start with the retreat. I'm not gonna show you all of my stuff from the retreat. Um, it, it was so nice. A lot of people are so generous. They give you gifts. Um, you know, people come around with like little gifts for for their tables or for everyone. And I'm always blown away by everyone's um, generosity. Um, but I'll just show you a couple of things. First of all, I have a new box back here. This beautiful floral, colorful box came from my dear friend, Angie. Hi, Angie. And um, she was there with her wonderful friend, Jean. Hi, Jean. I love those ladies. And, um, and their table was so much fun. They had, now I've never seen this type of thing at a retreat before. They had a whole theme for their table. Their table was frog themed and they had this like display piece in the middle of their table. It was like a, a tree and they had all of these hand sewn frogs that one of the ladies at the table made for everyone. And um, they had them like, like attached and tied to the tree. They were little tree frogs and they would stab their frogs with needles, um, kind of like voodoo dolls to kind of keep the frog away. Um, I thought that was really clever and fun. And they just had a whole frog theme. They had frog sweatshirts. They, oh, I, I infiltrated the group. I got one of their frog um, scissor poles or zipper poles, I should say. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Um, they had a little, a little plastic frog in a jar so they could keep him, keep him locked up so he wouldn't, you know, bother them while they were stitching. Just so many cute ideas. One lady wrote a, a poem. I was blown away by their creativity. So I had never seen anything like that before at a retreat where a whole table had like a theme, but I was into it. I really liked it. So, um, thank you, Angie from a gift. She was like, I better see this in the background of your video. So it's there, Angie. <laughs> um, 
We got some swag from the Steel City Stitchers. I got a Steel City Steel City Stitchers mug. I can't wait to use that. I've been ha I've had it sitting up here in my room so that I could show it to you guys. And we got a little swag bag. Um, has their logo. It says Yinzer Retreat 2024. <laughs> Um, like I said, I'm just showing you a couple things. I'm not going to show you all the things. My friend Allison, Alley Cat 13, her thing every time she goes to a retreat is to make fabric coasters for everyone. And so since our retreat was like uh, near the eclipse, she made like eclipse color themed um, coasters. I love mine. Very pretty. She puts her little label back there. And, um, oh, one table gift that I thought was really generous and nice. Um, the, um, the maker of Grace Notes Fabric, Colleen, went around and gave everybody little cuts of her Grace Notes Fabric that you could use for, like, a little ornament. So, that was super nice. And I got two because my friend Denise, a new friend of mine, she only stitches on Ada, so she gave me hers. Thank you, Denise. So, I... I left there with two cute little swatches of Grace Note fabrics. Um, I did a little bit of shopping, not a lot. Um, the Crafty U was there. Uh, they are an LNS that I believe is located in Cleveland, Ohio, and so they had um, they had a shop there, and so I wanted to get some fabric. I love Atomic Ranch fabrics, and I found this. It's called La Strange. And this is 40 count linen and I think I got a half yard, but it's really beautiful. Um, so I bought that cut of fabric. And then of course I bought the Bigfoot project folder that I showed you. Um, but I had to also get this project folder as well. Same, same maker, pause to stitch. And um, she had this one up there too. These were her mini ones. She also had some full size. So this is good for like a half size pattern. Um, Oh, here's her card here. Pause to stitch. Her name is Thomasina. She's on Instagram. And like I said, she's going to be having an Etsy shop soon. So as soon as that Etsy shop goes live, I'm all about it. But here's the inside fabrics. Very cute. So you've got a zippered pouch, but it also has like pockets behind. So this can very easily accommodate a couple of projects. So that's a little bit of my haul from the Steel City Stitchers Retreat. Those were the only things that I bought. Um, but I've been buying some other things. I've been really good lately about like not buying a lot of things. But, um, oh man, there's just been so many, so many great things out there to buy lately. So um, my next really exciting purchase, I can't remember if I showed this. I feel like I just talked about it in my last video. So um, if you're new here, my mom and my sister are both um, project bag makers. My sister has a shop called Pepper Pot Shop. I'll link it below. And my mom has a shop called Painted Leaf Co. Again, I'll link it below. Um, and I have beautiful projects, from, project bags from both of them to show you today. This one I could not get a hold of fast enough. Stop it. These little... Strawberry mice are adorable. Adorable. I love the little strawberry charm over here. Got some more strawberry mice on the back. I had to buy it immediately because, I think I've shown you this pattern before, because um, during market, I had to get Bobbin, that's his name, Bobbin, from Stacy Nash Designs. Um, I mean, come on, it's perfect. So Bobbin lives in here along with his friends, Maggie Mae and Miss Hazel. <laughs> so these were new Animal Crackers series designs from Stacy Nash um, that came out at Nashville. I'm uh, not Nashville, Needlework Market. Yeah, Nashville, I'm sorry. Nashville Needlework Market, same thing. <laughs> so I haven't started them yet, but they're kitted up. They're in my strawberry mouse bag, and that's going to be started ASAP. So hopefully the next time I see you, I can have a little progress on Bobbin to show you. But I had to get that bag to put them in because it was perfect. 
Um, speaking of painted leaf co, my mom, I got this bag from her. This was her most recent release. Her shop was inactive for a little bit because she was moving, but now she's moved and she's back on track. So make sure you're following both her and my sister on Instagram. Um, and that way you can see when they have new bags in the shop. And also make sure you follow their shops on Etsy. So this is her newest bag. I love all the little houses. I like the little themes of the houses. Like you've got a patriotic one. you got like a little bee house. Um, I really love the one with the bunnies in the yard up here. Very cute. Um, she always has really cute like inside fabrics. It's kind of like a blue watercolor gingham type of pattern. But I got that because I thought that was super springy and cute. And to stay on the topic of project bags, um, I follow a maker on Instagram called um, Jessie Wildberry Stitching. I've bought several of her bags. Her bags are amazing. But I noticed that she was promoting um, a fellow bag maker. I think, I think this person is a new bag maker. Um, and I thought that was really cool that she was promoting um, this shop. And so I wanted to go and support this new bag maker. And so I went and I purchased these. So it came as a set here. This is like a medium sized project bag. The, the designer is, oh, there's a card here. The maker is called Isabella Sews. You can find her on Instagram and Facebook. And of course you can find her on Etsy. Isabella Sews. Very good quality. I thought the prices were very reasonable. Here's um, the link to her shop. I'll put the link to her shop below, but if you wanted to see it. Um, but yeah, look at these bags. I love this fabric. Look at that fabric. It's got kind of like a speckled, and I love the rainbow pattern. I love the inside fabric. Look at that big red flower inside and this like um, rainbow zipper. The zipper I think is probably my favorite part. Um, and it comes with a little matching notions pouch. Same amazing fabric inside, same beautiful rainbow zipper. So go check out Isabella Sews. Very nice. Um, just kind of getting my, my stack here as it goes. Oh, I did have a little happy mail from a viewer. Got this beautiful card from Tracy in Australia. And um, she saw in um, a video recently that I was learning how to knit. Um, and so she was like, well, I, I like to knit and I like to knit like dishcloths and things. She was like, can I just make you something and send it? I'm like, yes, I would love that. So Tracy from Australia, not Australia. She's from Canada. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Tracy. She's from Canada. Um, she sent me, look how pretty that is. She sent me this beautiful, soft, pinky, purple, white washcloth. And I love these, these little knitted um, flowers. Very cute. That would be like cute to like stick like in a dough bowl like as a little like dough bowl filler, like along with like your pillows and stuff. It's super cute. She sent me two of those. So thank you, Tracy. Tracy from Canada, not Australia. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Just kind of going through my pile here. My fabric of the month came from um, Fiberlicious Yummy Fabri Fibers. Yeah, Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers. I get the 46 count and this one is called magnolia magic it is so beautiful i love it oh and i got my i got my nails done today aren't they super cute rainbow i wanted something colorful i'm ready like for i need to be outside i'm ready for spring it's the weather here has been kind of crazy anyway that's neither here nor there i um ordered some stuff from lady.creates um first firstly because i wanted to get the rick rack trim for my spring folk um, pattern um, design and so that calls for gray screen by lady.creates and it couldn't travel by itself and I do like to keep a good stash of trims for my pillow finishes so I grabbed some robin egg pom-pom trim some mushroom chenille 
and some velveteen for some finishing. I got um, mushroom again, and I got potato. Very nice neutrals that would be great for the backs of pillows. Um, I placed an order with Chantel's 141. She showed these in a recent video of hers. I'll show them to you. These are um, little wooden like display pieces that you can paint and glue together. She displayed them with her um, Mad for Plaid uh, from Hands On Design that she stitched and turned into little pillows that she put in her on the edge board. And then she kind of painted these and stuffed them in there as like little fillers. And they were so cute. And I was like, I need those. So I ordered those. And while I was there, I also ordered um, one of her everything boards. They come in four different sizes. So I have an idea for this one. Maybe, maybe you'll see what that idea is soon. <laughs> um, while I was shopping with Chantel, I also threw this into my cart because I have been eyeballing this, this Teresa Kogut, Hello Spring. It's a book with several designs in it, but I think my favorite one is this one. It is called Sweet Wren. I think that one's just so pretty. So spring, very cute. And then finally, I have one more order to show. I placed an order with Lindy Stitches. I love Lindy Stitches. Um, I, I love her as a designer, but I also love her as an online needle workshop. She's, she gets your orders out super fast. She's got a great selection and I like supporting her because I love the things that she does for our community as far as like being a designer and a content creator on Floss Tube. So thank you, Stephanie. So um, she had a little promo where um, if you ordered um, all of the new Weeks Dye Works colors that came out at market, you got like um, some, you got like a coupon code or whatever to get a certain dollar amount off of the rest of your purchase. So I was like, well, I love Weeks Dye Works Floss. So sure, yeah, I'll go ahead and get those. And while I was there, I went, I added three charts to my, to my cart. Um, and I picked these charts um, not only because I like the designer, but I would like to try some different finishes. So this first one I picked up was Tulip Fields Pin Keep by Stacy Nash Designs. And I've never done this type of like mattress finish before. So I thought that would be a really cute one to try that out with. Here's another picture. You can kind of see like the floral designs on the side. I've also never made a Biscornu, so I was like, maybe it's time. So I ordered this one also from Stacy Nash called Trumpet of Swans Biscornu. And I love that the bottom has very minimal stitching. I think there's like little flowers maybe up here in these corners. But I was like, okay, that's, I feel like that's like beginner Biscornu friendly. Sorry for the glare. But I wanted to try that out. And then also, this is another one that I've had my eye on. This is another market release. And um, this is called Cookie Cutters 2 by Kathy Barrick. There's also Cookie Cutters 1, which is also adorable. And she has another Cookie Cutters um, chart coming out soon, which I cannot wait to see. Um, I'm really excited because this little house one here was stitched by my friend Holly. Um, she also has a new floss tube called, called Holly called Hobbies of Holly. <laughs> she was actually stitching this at the Stitch Away retreat that I went to back in January. So it was really fun to see her stitching that and then to like see it here, like, oh, she's famous. <laughs> um, I love this whale. Again, sorry for the glare. Um, but I've never done like a shaped finish like this before. So I was like, okay, those three pieces could stretch my my finishing repertoire. Like, you know, I'm great at doing like a flat finish. I'm, I say great. I'm confident at doing like a flat finish. I'm confident at doing pillow finishes. I would like to try to branch out and do other types of finishes. So I thought those would be good ones to try that with. So, um, so yeah, I've got plenty of things to be stitching and working on. That's for sure. And lots of bags to keep them in. So, I think my focus for the next uh, few weeks should just be like on stitching what I have, using what I have, using my stash, and um, 
and getting some stuff done. I really would like to have a scissor sampler finish by the time I see you next. So um, I try to keep a two week schedule. Uh, so I think that would be an adequate amount of time to get that done. Um, again, I try to get six done a quarter, which means I try to shoot for like two a month. So I've had one 24 and 24 finish um, already this month. So I need another one. So that would be a good one to aim for. Um, other than that, I don't really have any like hard and fast plans. Just uh, continue making progress on the things I like working on. And uh, that's about it. Trying to remember if, if there was anything else. Oh, I forgot to show you. Hold on. I wanted to show you my shirt. <laughs> so let me stand up. Oh, there we go. So I saw another stitcher at the Steel City Stitchers Retreat wearing this shirt. It's like a tarot card type of design. It says the stitcher on it. I like that it's like a nice long t-shirt. She was wearing it with leggings and it was nice and long. Um, you know, covered all the right things. <laughs> I was like, oh, I have to have that. And she had it in this beautiful lavender color. Um, and so she was nice enough to tell me where she got that from. She got it from a shop called Feather Pop Shop on Etsy, which I will also link below. It does come in different colors. Um, so um, I don't I don't remember her name. So if that was you and you told me about this shirt, let me know because I love it and I'd like to properly thank you. <laughs> Um, that's about it for me this week. I feel like this video was a little all over the place, um, but we did it. We, we got through the whips, we got through the finish, we got through the chit chat. So yeah, all in all, I would say it was a successful floss tube. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are having, um, a great day. I hope you are stitching the things that make you happy and I would love to hear from you. And I would love, love, love if you would consider subscribing to my channel. That would mean so much to me. Um, until next time, everybody, I hope you, hopefully you stay happy and healthy and safe. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.